Do you wish it was easier to edit in Final Cut Pro? Well, today's your lucky day because I got something for you. Roll the intro. Welcome back to another video. First off, I wanna thank you guys so much for all the support on these new Final Cut Pro tutorials that I'm doing. You guys love them, I love making them, so I'm just gonna keep on rolling them out. And because of that, I've created a brand new download section on my website where you can get all my plugins and transitions and effects and whatever it is that I make for you guys to make your edits better. And if you haven't already seen it, I've created a three tips to better time lapses and a free plugin for you guys. So be sure to visit the page and download your free plugin today. Have you ever been editing in your timeline and you've made a bunch of edits to a clip and you wish you could go back and make changes but you've already made a bunch of changes after the fact so you can't really do control Z and go back well today I have a solution for you and it's a very simple solution and this solution came out in like 2011 but not many people are aware about it and I've been using this ever since I started editing and it's a huge time saver so within Final Cut Pro you have titles effects and transitions well, titles can be used as a layer, sort of like in Photoshop, where you can make an adjustment layer over top of another layer, and then you can always go back and delete those layers if you want to. I've created a plugin for you guys so you can use layers within Final Cut Pro, and it's really cool. So let's grab my laptops and get into it. So the first thing you're gonna do is head over to my website, deathbyvlog.com, and you're gonna scroll down towards the bottom of the page, and you'll see we have this free download section. And you're going to click the view downloads button and it's going to take you to the new downloads page. So now we're on the downloads page and as you can see we have our layers pack, the ghosting plugin and coming soon. All you got to do is click on view video and you can watch the video and see how to use the plugin. And you click the download button and enter your email address. Click download. And you'll see a success right here that says, thanks, an email has been sent with your download link. And that's it. So once you have the download, let's get rid of this. You're gonna open up your finder window and you're gonna search for your movies folder. I have it here for my favorites so it's easy to access. And within your movies folder, you're gonna have your libraries and your Final Cut backups and other things like that. What you wanna do is click on the motions template folder. If you do not have this folder, you can create it, but make sure that it's spelled out just like it is here with the space and the capital letters. And inside of that, you're gonna see a bunch of other folders. So we're working with a title. So we're gonna open up our titles. And as you can see here, I already have the layers pack installed. So what I want you to do is just drag and drop that in here. Now, after you've dropped this folder in, we're gonna go ahead and restart Final Cut. So now we're back in Final Cut and our layers pack is now loaded into our titles area. So if you come over here to the top left nav and you click on titles and then scroll down to layers pack and you'll see here we have all the layers. Now I've taken this a step further. I've created these so that you can match to your specific timeline settings. So if you're shooting in 4K, 24 frames a second, then you'll choose this one. If you're shooting in let's say 1080, 30 frames a second, you'll come down here and choose this one. So I believe this timeline is 1080, 30. So I'm gonna match it and select the 1080, 30 frames a second. I'm gonna click and drag it right over top of my footage. Move it down to the beginning of the timeline and then expand it all the way to the end of the clip. Now I have this adjustment layer right over top of my clip. So anything that I do to this adjustment layer will affect the clip underneath it. So let's quickly do some color correction to it. So I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna hit the color correction, and I'm gonna to go to exposure, and I'm gonna bring up the highlights, drop the midtones, kill the blacks down a little bit. Now let's add some saturation just to make it pop a little bit more, just for demo purposes. And let's just, let's change the color for the hell of it. Let's make it a little bit more blue because it's cold outside. And that's it. Now, all those effects are done to this adjustment layer and it doesn't touch your actual footage beneath it. You can also add other effects, whatever it is you want to this. So let's say I want to add some, let's say I want to add a LUT. So I'm going to come down here. I'm going to double click that and go back to my inspector. And as you can see, we have the new custom LUT feature of Final Cut Pro. And I'm gonna choose a LUT. So let's go down and choose Osiris Rex 709 KDX. And as you can see, it's added that LUT to our footage, but only to the adjustment layer. So now that we have our clip edited, let's say we didn't like those changes that we made. All you gotta do is highlight your adjustment layer and delete it. And that's it, your original footage is untouched and you don't have to deal with any edits. So let's control Z and bring back that layer. And now let's add another effect to this clip. But instead of messing with the adjustment layer we just made, 
we're gonna come over here and we're gonna drag another layer on top. Pull it on over, slide it down to the end so it fills the whole clip. And let's put something on there just so you can really see it in this demo. I'm gonna drag that right over top. And look at that. As you can see, it just changed the entire clip. Now that looks really bad, so let's delete it. And as you can see, our color grading is intact and our footage is untouched. And you can add as many layers to a clip as you want. Just remember that the render time will slow down just a little bit every time you add a new layer. And that's about it for this one. Just really simple, easy to use plugin where you can add layers to all your clips and you don't have to edit the original clip. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe because I got more of these tutorial videos coming soon. And we'll see you guys in the next video. See ya. Have you ever wished it was easier to edit in Final Cut Pro 10 without touching your original footage? Ah, oh, that was the perfect one and this guy's gotta beep his horn.